More people are relying on their neighbors as they navigate life in the pandemic. Alexa Liaco found for some a little compassion goes a long way. The Duran's home is a family treasure. My grandparents started this house and he finished it. You name it, I did it. He did everything. It's a place Gerald Duran came home to after war. I'm a Korean veteran. A place where laughter and memories have been shared over three generations. I, I had a top secret clearance. I couldn't tell anybody what I was doing there. I think I did that once and I think I got scolded. I <laughs> Serious. As their family grew, the home expanded. I built that. I yeah. built that with help. You know, I, you cannot do anything without help. This year, Linda and her dad found their family needing a little help with their home once again. There was a lot of things that, that needed work and especially safety. The outside doors didn't close or lock and the kitchen didn't have working appliances. But COVID-19 made those repairs impossible to pay for after Linda lost her job. Can't do anything anymore, hardly. I want to go to bingo. No, nope. <laughs> we ain't got no money. OK, got to buy groceries. Being on a fixed income and no income is detrimental. So Linda reached out for help. It's an awful feeling because I was a I'm not no spring chicken, so I just feel like, you know, gosh, at this point in my life, I should be able to help him more than what I am. A nonprofit called Rebuilding Together answered her prayers. This nationwide group connects contractors willing to donate work and supplies for critical home repairs. Yeah, the majority of people that we help are either older Americans or veterans or people living with disabilities. And so they're supposed to stay at home and shelter at home. And it's kind of hard to do that if they're not safe at their house. Tim Crossan has worked in the construction business for years and was happy to volunteer his skills, especially in the face of the pandemic. In a year where there is so much negativity, there is so much opportunity to do something about that. He installed brand new doors and locks. Be able to fall asleep and not have to worry about is somebody coming in yeah. or I don't have to sleep on the front yep. to make sure that that doesn't happen. The family also got brand new kitchen appliances. The oven didn't work. This uh, house was built on secondhand stuff. Now we're getting the good stuff. <laughs> good stuff that's more than just a door or an oven. It's so appreciative that there are people out there that are willing to help other people. You know, because not everybody can afford to do these things. And so it's nice that there's people that care. An act of kindness needed now more than ever. Giving a family hope, the legacy built within these four walls will never be lost. I'm Alexa Liaco. Takes a village. Alexa, thank you.